Okay. Uh, Anambra Community Youth Leaders, I bring you greetings. On the 14th of December 2024, we are going to have a summit, a security summit, and unveiling of Anambra Community Role Models. Anambra is estimated to be more than 6 million in population and we all know that in Anambra we have more than 79 communities. We are the role models that will serve as icons of hope for the future of our state. Our governor, Professor Charles Suluma Soludo, has clearly identified governance and value system as the fourth key pillar of the solution agenda. And what is our value system? We, the youth, under the umbrella of Asatu Youth, have been able to articulate a set of values that serve as our articles of faith in Anambra and titled it, I believe, in Anambra book. We call it a solution book. We have also gone further to present this book publicly, which we did in IML. Now there is need for us to put a face to this value system. Who and who deserve to be recognized as a role model in our communities? To make sure that this happens, we have asked all the youth leaders of the 179 communities to give us one person for each community. And this one person should not be less than 45 years. And should not be a public elected public office holder. And should not be a serving community leader, be it Igwe, PG, woman leader, or youth leader. This person should be someone who is voluntarily contributing to the development of the community and the youth. Where are they? We know there are so many of them who are contributing to the development of the community. They are not even asking for anything in return. And some are also watching to see what and what they can do for the community. This time around, we don't need to, as Lord Jesus said, we don't need to celebrate when someone is dead. No, celebrate when this person is alive. We want to identify these persons and recognize them. And we have said it that we are going to be doing this annually. Every year we'll select 179 community role models and recognize them as icons of hope for the future of the state. And also take them as patrons of our youth. On the 14th, we're going to have a compendium comprising 179 role models. And for youth leaders who have not submitted their role models, we don't have time. We are giving not less than one week for you to, uh, not more than one week now for you to submit your, your own list. Because the young people who are in various places outside the state, within the state, want to know who is standing in as a role model for that community. And we need to ensure that those who emerge as role models for the 179 communities, we recognize them and appreciate them. And also, for the security of our state, we do not need to put the whole thing on the, on the table of Mr. Governor. What can we, as community youth leaders, do to ensure that our state is not only prosperous, but our state is, pro is, is, is secured and we have a role to play. Like Okayu to say, Okolo Nechokodo. It is time for us to have a security summit whereby we need to provide solutions of what needs to be done and see it through that these things are done. When Kai Game, when the government game, I know I won't do it. As a colonial chair, we will not sit down and watch things happen. We'll have to play our own role. And the time is now. Thank you very much and God bless you.